have anything to be on my hog right now. Tearing down the highway, wind in my hair, bugs slamming into my teeth, some girl I won in a card game hanging on for dear life. You know what I miss the most? Work. Stop. Watch your mouth. No, seriously. I like getting up every morning with a sense of purpose and a detailed minute-by-minute -minute itinerary, but with some room for some improvisation. I call it firm but flexible planning. Firm flex, for sure. Oh! What about you, Sid? What do you miss? I can't remember what I done up there, so like, I don't miss it none, yeah? So now, a pet, you must miss the fame, huh? Oh no, wait, the girls, right? All them girls throwing themselves at you? Oh no, no, wait, I got it. I bet you miss sitting alone in your one-room apartment watching porn and crying yourself to sleep every night of the week! <laughs> we had an oath of confidence! All you can eat buffets. I went to one once that's six kinds of bacon in the defibrillator right on the wall. <laughs> There's nothing more beautiful than binge eating with medical backup. I miss nothing, and I don't sympathize with any of your feelings. Instead, I marvel at your weakness. You know, most of their movies have transvestites in them. Hello, can you go well now you know? The family drives to know who's down the next stop straight drop will tear. There's no escape, that's bad luck, so settle in. Yes, in Crash Canyon. <laughs> Scream and yell and have a spasm makes no difference to the castle. Face the fact, you live in a crash! Crash Canyon. And that's how we ended up stuck in an elevator with $8,000 in coins, a guitar case full of holiday Bibles, and three Puerto Rican cobblers! <laughs> Seriously, how many more times do we need to hear the story of your honeymoon? I like that story. It had colorful ways to smuggle money in it. You know, I still have the clogs those Puerto Rican guides made me. Comfortable and loud. Everything you want in a clog. I wasn't done complaining. This table's not clean, the food is disgusting, and there's something on my fork. Ooh. Ugh, what's that stuff? Disinfectant. I made it from dish soap and gasoline. One day you'll miss times like this, Roxy. Sitting around with your family, talking, sharing stories. <coughs> ew, 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 your gross cough wind hit me in my face. This stupid place has more germs than Uncle Vernon's creepy trunk. Walk away, Norm. It ain't worth dying for. It's not over. He has to sleep sometime. <coughs> Where did this fear of germs come from? Remember when you made me go to camp and there was that girl I hated because she had the boots I wanted that you wouldn't buy for me? Anyway, she coughed right in my face and I had to run into the lake to wash it off. That's not so bad. The camp was next to a sewage plant. That must be why all those ducks were dead when we dropped you off. <gasps> and a canoeing instructor when we picked you up. Hello, I still wasn't done complaining. That girl's feet were way smaller than mine so the boots were useless. Now I'm done. <coughs> 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 Really? Doesn't anyone or anything cover their mouth anymore? He has an illness. An unauthorized illness. <coughs> My handsome child! He's covered in your monkey filth! I'm fine, Mom. It was just a cough. Oh, I agree with Royce. I heart germs, too. <coughs> Can't beat monkey snot, right? We're going home right now. You're getting in the bath, and I am going to scrub you clean. So very, very clean. Bye, Royce! Oh, God, monkey mucus. Get it off! Get it off! <clears throat> Ugh, that tastes awful. Hi, Vernon! You scared me! Really? I figured you would have heard me because I've been following you for a while. Anyway, I'm gonna cut to the chase. I'm a man, you're a woman, so what do you say? Eight o'clock, my van? Um, are you trying to ask me out on a date? Whoa, 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 whoa! This is not a date. It's an appointment with satisfaction. Uh, I don't think so. What? Why not? I'm too handsome? Afraid you'll look like a pig in the arm of a prince? That's why we never leave the van. No, it's not that. Are you afraid you can't compete with my former girlfriends? Because let me assure you, that will not be a problem. I'm not interested because, well, you've done a real nice job of avoiding being thin. <laughs> so 
congratulations on that! She called me fat! I'm not fat! Maybe I'm a little husky. You no good lying mirror! <laughs> you know where liars go? In the trunk. That's where. Oh. <gasps> she was coughing and then she just got worse and worse, like American cars. I agree with the progression of the illness, but not with the slight of American workmanship. You do have a temperature of 103. There is some good news, though. What's that? I'm able to warm up my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe tonight, if it gets worse, we can cook s'mores on her. <laughs> Whoa, great idea. Now let's go to Nalapat's. S'mores always taste better when you're drunk. I learned that from a Girl Scout. What about my wife? She's in no shape to be drinking. She seems to be sick or something. I knew it! One filthy beast infected the other filthy beast. Screw you, Beverly. Oh. This situation is dire. Very dire. It's going right to the top of my to-fix list. Welcome to the canyon's first ever emergency council meeting! <laughs> I know I normally bring cookies, but because this is an emergency meeting, I didn't have time to bake any. No problem. Cookies are for fat people. I hate them because I'm getting thin. I don't hate you. I'm just posturing to impress a girl. Your cookies would understand that if you weren't all gay. That monkey has brought a pox upon us. If we don't stop it at the source, we will all be infected. <gasps> <laughs> I think you're overreacting a little. Like the time you fired Bjorn for looking you in the eye. I was right then and I'm right now. Look at this woman. Would anyone dress like that? If they weren't horribly ill? I agree with him. Yeah, 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 my yeah. I smell paint. Everyone, please, let's try to remain civilized. Civilized? Civilized people don't live with monkeys. My god. I can almost feel the germs crawling all over me. That's just Earl. Oh, no biggie. Just trying to steal your earrings. Everyone gotta have a hobby. Boil those. So, Beverly, what are you suggesting we do? Remove the sick from the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. My name's Sid. Wait. I know I may look bad, but this isn't as serious as Beverly says. Actually, I kind of feel... <coughs> well, she's not sick. That's from... that smoking. Ten packs a day. Her lungs are like a Hong Kong casino. I don't care if any of you die from this monkey Wendell plague, but I do care. Mostly about myself. I demand action. <laughs> Hear that, Reggie? She demands action. He touched me. Boil him, too. Looks like I'm going hot tubbing. What do you say, Sarah? Want to join me? That should do it. Now we just wait an hour and then goodbye, stupid reality. And uh, don't worry about your wife. She's in good hands. We haven't lost a patient yet. Not forever, anyway. He was a little wet, but totally safe. Also hemorrhaging quite badly internally, but totally safe. This is crazy. I'm not that... <coughs> Boy, those coughs always come at the worst time. I think it's probably best if you stay here. At least overnight. I concur. Commence sleeping. I'll return at 0700. Me too. But I'll be here at 7. <laughs> <laughs> They're gone! My wife has disappeared. <laughs> Keep it coming, crybaby. Us athletes need to stay hydrated. Hey, I actually think I feel a little better. Oh, Beverly! I'm Vaughn. Maybe we could get out of these suits, my dear? We can't take them off yet. The virus may still be in the air. 
We'll know for sure if something happens to the canary. What have you done with Sheila? You mean patient zero? In the best interest of this community, she has been quarantined. That's kidnapping! You can't do that! Poor people have been kidnapping rich people for ages. I guess you can dish it out, but can't take it. We're not poor. We're middle class. <laughs> Maybe in Somalia. Tell us where my mom is, or there's going to be a lot more of... Uh, this! Who cares? It was a Mother's Day gift from Pristine. I'll ask again. Where is Sheila? Far away. Where she can't harm any of us anymore. Fine. We'll find her anyway. But do not be at all surprised when you receive a very stern letter with some words written in all capitals. Roxy, you're supposed to come with us. That's how dramatic exits work. I think I may stay here. What? Come on, Dad. What if there is a plague? Shouldn't one of us survive? And aren't I the best choice? In my opinion, I am. Fine. Do what you want. Jake, come on. You are coming, aren't you? Totally. Right after this. Hey! -ya! Beyond's mother's ashes. <laughs> now that, here go. Beverly kidnapped Sheila and put her in quarantine. We need your help finding her. She is very sick. I do not want to die from what she has, okay? Me neither. I want to die from mercury poisoning from Tuma Sushi. Well then, thanks for nothing. You are welcome. I never know what to say to sarcastic thank yous. Politeness can never be a mistake. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out. I don't help find wives. Usually I'm the guy that makes them disappear. I can't help you, mates. Disease, right? It's a big worry for us. So that's why I made the family some germ safety suits. Sit approved. Attention, you great unwashed. I have graciously declared myself in charge during this difficult time. We will get through this crisis if you just listen to me and do what I say. And what if we don't? Bjorn, I think that man is ill. This brings up some good memories and some real bad ones. And now I will decide who else is sick or not the best way I know how. On a whim. <laughs> I see we're both not sick. One more thing we have in common. I've been working out, and I'm down four pounds. So, you into me now? I don't like saying the N-word, but never. Get over there and don't come back until you're dead. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> Thanks for trying, Lippy. But the idea of being trapped in a box isn't that funny when you are actually trapped. Also, mime sucks. Hey, you guys are sick now, too? <coughs> Some of us. Others just have bad luck. No, I'm not sure how I ended up here. Last thing I remember is starting this sentence. And now that's gone. <sighs> Mom! Can you hear me? Where are you? <sighs> I'm starting to wonder if we'll ever locate her. So far, all we found is three sinkholes. <laughs> Four sinkholes. It feels good knowing everything is back to normal. And I, once again, am to thank for saving the world. Bravo, honey, bravo. You're a true hero, just like Imelda Marcos or Leona Helmsley. <sighs> wow. I just realized that the only thing more boring than my parents is anyone else's parents. Speaking of Imelda Marcos, you know she hardly ever wore the same shoes twice. <laughs> Such a champion of sanitation and... <laughs> What was that? I'm not quite... Oh my 
God, you're sick. Bjorn, get up. I'm Vaughn. I'm sick. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually miss my family. I miss my family. Ah! I miss my family. I miss my family. Are you sick? No. I just fell down a lot when we were running around looking for you. This may come as a shock, but I'm not very athletic. Aw, oh, you poor thing. Get me out of here and I'm going to kiss all your boo-boos better. Then I'm going to give Beverly boo-boos until she blacks out. What's going on? You guys don't look sick. We're not sick sick. But we are sick of Beverly and all her rules. She's become a real party, you know what her. She means pooper. I complete you. Okay, well then, make yourself at home, I guess. With no Beverly, he is beautiful. Like Hiroshima before. The bomb? No, the winter. Oh, yes, the bomb. If we had dropped it on you, you remember then. here now, except for Roxy. I know. Isn't it awesome? No, it isn't. I miss her constant complaining. I miss you guys, too. Well, well, look who it is, the girl that abandoned her family. Ah, short-term thinking like this is exactly why you've never been the favorite. Mom, can I talk to you? I'm sorry I left you guys, but I did it for a good reason. Well, I guess we've all done some silly things to try and impress a boy. <laughs> now you can buy those shoes you wanted! Dad, I'm really sorry about what I did, and it probably won't happen again. Yes, it will. But for now, let's pretend it won't. Deal. Hey, nobody's sick here. Nope. As a matter of fact, life's pretty good at camp quarantine. <laughs> I told your mother and everyone else who didn't listen, it was just a little flu bug, and it passed. Not for my parents or Vaughn, it didn't. They're sick and worse than just coughing. They've been throwing up for hours. My fingers cramped up from holding my mom's hair. Oh, my. So Beverly's sick now? Oh, well, you can tell her to suck it up, and then tell her when she's done and after she's brushed her teeth that she can kiss my lily white ass. She'll stop. They're sick. Aren't we supposed to be nicer to them than they were to us? Oh, God. Okay, fine, fine, but as soon as Beverly's healthy again, I reserve the right to beat her face in. Deal. I'll even hold her arms. You said they were throwing up? That's odd. Most people were just coughing. Is Pristine sick, too? No, and Bjorn isn't either. My parents told him he wasn't allowed to be. I got it! And I just figured out how to snap my fingers. Two revelations in one day. <laughs> If this is the end, my only regret is that I didn't displace more people from subsidized housing to build golf courses. Mom, Dad, I'm back, and I brought help. Why did you bring that thing into my house and the monkey? Mom, you need to calm down. Everyone else in the canyon is healthy again, and Mr. Wendell has a theory why. You assume Lippy was making us sick when actually he was the antidote keeping us from getting whatever you all have. What? That's impossible. Is it? Think about it. It all makes sense. Everyone else had contact with Lippy but you, mostly because you were wearing those stupid suits. <laughs> okay, you figured something out. Two things, actually. Stop that. Tell me, how do we get 
at her. Trust us. We'll have you healthy in no time. <laughs> oh, my word. I taste bananas. This is disgusting and demeaning. Is it really necessary to do this all day and in the center of town? Necessary? No, but I promised my wife comeuppance. So, I give you comeuppance. Oh, I love you, Norm. Sure is a lot of kissing going on. That could be us, you know. Vernon, I'm sorry, but for the last time, no! Are you sure about that? 100% sure? I love being positive, and I am positive! <laughs> okay, this diet crap is over. People we hate being kissed by a monkey, your cousin eating out of the trash. This is exactly the type of story you're going to want to tell your kids one day. No, those brats can watch TV. I'll be at the mall. <laughs>